they don't really clean themselves. So there's a ton of pollen. And look, look how much how much wind the wings create. Hello my friends. We're approaching spring and it's getting warm or warmer, I should say. Uh, we're getting into, you know, 40s and 50s and then I believe as soon as we get to about you know somewhere about 50 uh, 55 uh, you're gonna start seeing mason bees as soon as you start seeing first flowers in uh, you know on your uh, basically the sour cherries decorative cherries you'll start seeing mason bees pollinating they're the first ones out and all they are uh, after is pollen so the mason bees are one of the best pollinators compared to you know like your bumblebee or uh, honeybee I think they're about 120 times more efficient uh, than bumblebees or honeybees just because they are you know their sole purpose is to just um, basically reproduce for the next season so the mason bees will be out and they'll be the first ones pollinating all the flowers on the most of our stone fruit that's that usually blossoms early uh, they're the ones that pollinate at this time the bees the honeybees are all still kind of dormant uh, until we get above 65 or so and there's something to basically uh, consider with the mason bees and if you want to create a colony around your uh, around your orchard or trees or just to have for fun I guess uh, you find the north facing wall which is I have here it, well this south facing but I'm looking towards north so I'm looking at it and it's the north side where the sun is always shining at it and uh, you drill holes I'll show you right now so I got myself uh, a drill and this is a quarter size you can use quarter five sixteenths or so and three to four inches long and you just drill drill holes just slight angle uh, upwards so that if the water you know if the water runs on the face of it it runs out of it so you can drill a hole so you drill holes like this there's a bunch of them everywhere and what you get is these homes and when the mason bees start flying around they're looking for holes holes everywhere and then they just, they lay their larvae inside and uh, next year they will all hatch and come out and you'll have a huge colony if you have a lot of you know places to live for them um, they're about 120 times more effective than the honeybee or bumblebee so they collect pollen and nectar uh, to go and lay in their nests to feed the young bees um, and because of all their hair on their body they have a lot more than the bees they collect basically all their pollen stays with them and they don't clean themselves off because they they need all the pollen and then the bees tend to kind of clean themselves after each uh, fly to the flower so they they have about 90 percent more pollen on them than the uh, regular honeybee so that's what makes them more efficient because they're they're covered in pollen from other flowers the mason bees look like uh, almost a fly a greenish fly crossed with a bee so it kind of looks like a bee body but then it looks like a fly they do fly like bees though um, but anyway they they have a lot of hair on their body which holds the pollen and uh, they fly from flower to flower and and, and just deliver that pollen everywhere uh, unlike a bee that cleans itself off uh, a lot and loses about 90% of the pollen that it had on itself. Uh, the mason bee feeds on the pollen and nectar so it's it's always looking for that you know material on the on the flowers of you know fruit fruit trees and berries and and vegetables uh, whatever is blooming they're collecting that pollen and nectar to fill their their homes uh, for their young there so drilling holes will allow homes to be built by these uh, mason bees and basically live here 
year round. And you'll have your own colony to pollinate. So as you can see, there's a lot of activity of mason bees looking for homes, looking for a place to lay their eggs for next year. So the life cycle of uh, <clears throat> mason bees, maybe six weeks, they come out when the temperatures are pretty much around 55 degrees or so. and. Uh, start flying around looking for nectar there's a there's a lot of trees that are already blooming by then especially the apricots and peaches and the plums and cherries sour cherries they all start blooming early and uh, it's perfect time for these mason bees to come out and pollinate and all they do is eat they they don't collect honey or anything they just eat nectar and and pollen uh, out of the flowers so they they really do a good job pollinating because they're just kind of sloppy and messy crawling around you know looking for that nectar to eat <clears throat> and then uh, because because they go from flower to flower and digging through it there's a lot of pollen on top of them they don't really clean themselves so there's a ton of pollen and look look how much how much wind the wings create it's all that sawdust falling down um, yeah they spread that pollen everywhere and all along all the other flowers and uh, just awesome awesome bee for pollination so this is my old firewood shed. <clears throat> this is a south facing uh, wall. And uh, it's always sunny here. And I've noticed some, some mason bees flying around the firewood. And I went out and got my drill. I uh, got some holes that are quarter inch and some are 5 sixteenths, you know, and three to four inches deep. And it went through. And drilled a bunch of, uh, you know, pieces of firewood here. Just at the ends of them. Made some holes, kind of sloping upwards. That way the water doesn't, you know, go up inside there if it goes in. <clears throat> Giving the place for the bees to, uh, to lay their larva for next year. Yeah, that's all they do is go out there, eat pollen. Find the place to... You know, put their cocoons with some pollen, and that's it. Around September or mid-September, they're pretty much a bee already. Uh, and then you could technically take them out if you had special mason bee uh, houses that split up, and you can or little you know paper tubes. And uh, you can save them that way, but other than that, I'm just going to leave it here and wait till next year. So the mason bees are most definitely using their homes. There's a bunch of them here.
these are all done sealed up with larvae in there some of these are done some of these are done a bunch of these are done a bunch of these are done so they're definitely working There's definitely tons of mason bees. So if you have a firewood shed or just any place that you can make a bunch of holes like this, go for it. You'll get tons of tons of mason bees. <laughs> 